Hello everyone, my name is Florian Weigensommer and thank you very much for being here and dealing with this topic. A Boy's Life is the third part of a trilogy about the darkest and most terrible time in human history. After A German Life, a film about the secretary of Nazi propaganda, Minister Joseph Goebbels, and A Jewish Life, a story of a Holocaust survivor who survived seven years in concentration camps, both, by the way, lived to be well over 100 years old. A Boy's Life now completes this series. It's the story of a little boy who has been deported to Auschwitz at the age of eight, the largest and most ferocious death camp of the Nazis. The story of his encounters with the infamous and sadistic camp physician Dr. Josef Mengele. The story of a boy who had to carry out forced labor, who was surrounded by death, torture, murder and sadism. Despite all this, he managed to survive and today, at the age of 91, he looks back on his life. It is often, often said today, we have heard all that many times, enough of these Holocaust stories, enough of history, we have to face future and so on. I think it's very dangerous to forget and to displace our history. We need to know our history in order to understand our present and in order to build a better future. A reappraisal of history needs not only scientific accuracy and a factual analysis and detailed historical studies of what happened, but it also needs stories and it needs uh, storytellers. In the past, it has been the survivors themselves who told their stories. Nowadays, however, there are hardly, there are hardly any survivors remaining and their stories are vanishing with them. That's why we wanted to record some of these personal testimonials to preserve them for future generations. All three protagonists in the films are outstanding, intelligent, reflected, sometimes even funny. They are genius storytellers and interesting personalities. Each of them with a fascinating, captivating story, raising forceful questions for everyone in the audience. Why this trilogy? We want to shed light on these terrible years from three different perspectives, looking at the time from three different angles, perspectives that do not contradict, but complement each other in order to form an overall picture. These very personal stories give the historical narrative a human face. We made these films because today we are facing a new rise of political trends and movements that are again slowly undermining our democracy. It's already happening in Europe, in America and in Asia as well. Maybe films like these can help us to understand these political mechanisms, to unmask them at an early stage and to see through their false promises and lies. Because they are today working with the same tricks as they were using back then and they seem to still work just as well. Maybe these films will help to never again miss the critical moment when our democracy and our freedom will be knocked out. So that's it folks. Thank you very much for your support and peace.